Thanks for clicking on this video tutorial. This is Bakapa Chincholikar. Welcome back to Test Automation Tool Selenium. In this Selenium tutorial, we will discuss how to execute Selenium script in parallel. Let us jump to the high level agenda for the today's session. First, we will discuss why parallel Selenium script execution, and after that, you will see how to implement that parallel execution in Selenium automation testing. And after that, we will discuss what are the advantages if you implement parallel execution? So, first uh, I'll jump to the why we need to execute Selenium script in parallel. This image contains one test suit, and after that, it is having total five test scripts that is, a one, two, and one, and two, and three, and four. At last, I have five. Total, I have five. Selenium automation script. Each test script contains five minutes. This is a rough idea I have put it here. Based on the scenario, it takes the time. Say, so for example, if I need to execute this particular test suit contains five auto Selenium automation scripts, each takes five minutes. So, for example, if I need to complete complete the execution of this particular test suit. It takes me 25 minutes if I execute Selenium automation script in normal way. If I implement parallel execution in framework, so that helps to reduce the time and the cost of the testing. So let us jump how to implement this parallel execution in Selenium automation testing. Just here, I'm jumping to the Eclipse ID. Here, I have created the new project. Under that, I have created one simple package, and I am creating here one test engine class. Here, I'm mentioning the name of the class as Parallel Testing. Click on Finish button. For this project, I have added already test engine jar and the selenium jar. So let me maximize it. I'll go to the previous video session program and I'll copy this six lines of code into the current tutorial. Just I'll uh, define the web driver here. Web driver here. Web driver one. So all the errors will go out now. Just import the related packages. Just I'll rename this f with the test one. So I'll pass this instead of this parameter, I'll pass the URL that is dot www dot just I'll enter Google. Here I'm first just mention mention it that in uh, double quotes because that takes get method always takes string type of parameter. That's all. This is my one test script. That's all. If I execute this program, it will execute properly. Let us say for let me explain you what this code does. First two lines. First, it will set the path for the driver that is a Chrome driver, and this second line, it will launch as the Chrome drive Chrome browser, and after that, it maximizes the window. And after that, it enters the, this URL specified URL. And after that, it waits for some two seconds. And after that, simply it will close the web browser. Let us uh, go to the Firefox browser. Let us do some activity on the first. I have launched the web browser, web browser and after that, I have entered the google.com. Let me inspect this particular 
web element in file path and we'll do some activity on this particular web element just i'm taking the copy just i'm copy copying the export of this search box so here i'm using the driver object after that find element by xpath just i'll input something in that search box after that i'll use the send keys to send some data into the what i'll enter is just i'll enter selenium by bakappa see guys this test one what it, it will does is simply it will open the chrome browser and it will enter this url and after that in search box here it will enter this particular keywords and after that simply it will put the browser after entering i'll put some weight so we can see the output let me execute this program this is a simple selenium automation script yes it is launching the web browser then it has maximized it and after that it has entered the google.com and it should it should enter some values to this and the, then it is closing the web browser it is working as expected let us say i have like this three scripts so i'll replace test one with the test two and the test three that's all if you remember when we are discussing how to handle multiple windows that time by using the windows session id we can switch to particular window right whenever you create this particular object it will create session id by using session id you can switch to that particular window right in the same way i have total three test scripts that is test one and test two and test three so i need to run all three tests in different sessions so that is the reason what i'll do is i'll create three web driver object two and three by using this web driver one i'm performing activity on the particular session that contains test one by using the driver two i'm performing activity on the this test under the test two so i need to use this driver variable and i need to by using that i need to perform the activity on the particular session that's all in the same way i'll use this web driver object and i'll perform the activity on the test 3 that's all so let me convert this into the xml file that can be done by using the convert to test ng so here i'm getting the test ng dot xml you can rename it not an issue but in my case i'm keeping it it as it is just click on finish button once you click on that particular finish button you will get xml file so now till now you have already know it but now the part is how you can run all three scripts at a time how you can save the time and how you can reduce the cost of testing
for this particular suit what you have to say is we have one parameter called parallel equal to these are the test methods right so that is the reason i need to mention value for this parallel attribute is methods these are the test ng methods there is a reason these are the test ng methods right that is a public test sorry public y test 1 and public y test 2 and public y test 3 so that is the reason these are the methods so i am mentioning that in the parallel attribute that's all there is a one attribute and we have one more attribute called thread count equal to you have to mention the value based on how many test contains say for example in my case it contains total three tests that is a test one test two and test three so that's the reason i'm mentioning here as a three if we, if you are having 20 test then you have to mention this thread count is equal to 20 that's all and after that you have to run this particular xml file that can be done by using the right click on this particular testrange.xml and after that select the option as run as then click on test ng suit if you observe here see it is it has launched all three web browsers at a time so it is long it is not performing any activities one by one so it is dra drastically saving the time for the testers if you observe the output all three tests got passed there are zero failures and zero skips that is how you have to implement parallel execution in your test suit and you can launch different browsers as well and you can if you find any difficulties in doing it you can comment in the comment section of this below of this video that's all i have the in this video tutorial and we'll discuss some of the advantages first we have discussed why we need to execute a selenium script in parallel and after that we have discussed how to implement parallel execution in selenium final finally you'll see how to sorry what are the advantages by using the parallel sorry by uh, implementing the parallel execution the first advantage is you can save the time so that can be done in the similar way say for example this suit for execution of this particular test suit takes 25 minutes so that can be done in within a five minutes that's how you can save the time then after that you can save the cause say for example in a team just it is a rough idea there are five people are working instead of five people you can reduce that into, into the four people or three people and the next one is you can find defects in early phase and finally we have you can move your application under test into the production phase as early these are the few advantages i have listed here and if you got any any queries you can drop me an email stay tuned for the next topic on how to scroll down or scroll up in selenium automation testing please subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more thanks for watching